I am not giving up. I know this world has gotten far more scary, and it seems very bleak. But there are still things worth fighting for, worth living for. And personally, I try to not live under the assumption that things are going to be the worst possible. Rather, I try to live under the assumption that those are possibilities and that I have to work to prevent them. The daunting task of facing and trying to navigate through the terror of the now is not without hope. It can't be without hope. Hope is the mechanism through which we can move forward, past all of this. We must remember our own hope for the future. Speak and share and live our dreams as much as possible. And never go quietly into the fascistic night. When you let them take your happiness and hope, you let them take everything. The state apparatus builds itself on the colonization of spaces, including your mind. It builds itself off of alienation and fear to keep you afraid, to maintain its monopoly over the reality we perceive. Anything outside of their terror is considered insane. Well, maybe we should embrace our madness. Capitalism and fascism co-opt the reality we live in and change the very ways that it shows itself to us. The very ways we can conceptualize it. It's like we live in a pervasive atmosphere which restrains our thoughts and actions. These attacks we face reificate a reality that they want to construct in which we have no rights. A reality of product and produce in which the individual as well is made into nothing but a product. What we live in can simply be defined as a monopoly over reality in benefit of capitalist interests. And fascism is just capitalism with the runs. It's hostility emblematic of its weakness. The scam culture and corruption that we see is the decay process of the nation state, and it's only going to get worse. So long as they have a monopoly on reality itself. So long as we let them by succumbing to their systems of rationality that bases itself off of hate and alienation. If we are going to fight against this, we are going to have to reject their reality. The future is not given to you. It is something you must take for yourself. And if we want to beat this, we will have to reject their reality and embrace our happiness. To act with hope for a better future and to live with determination.